and we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day And we're back guys welcome to good energy this is a preview and prediction video we head back to cincinnati where all roads lead to new york city that's angelique kerber multiple slam champion can she win it this year it's going to be a tough challenge but here at the western and southern open we're down to the last 16 ladies and someone's oh must go let's get into it allison riss armatrage she's taking on elena Re Aikana. These two ladies have never played before. Allison Riss is 21 and 16 on the year, 12 and 9 on hard. We saw her with a huge straight set victory over Sarah's Reaver's Turbo. However, it was ugly. It was not pretty. When Sarah played fast, Allison Riss could not handle it. On the other hand, Alina Rebikina, we saw her demolish the reigning and current WTA champion, Garbenia Muguruza. Alina Rebikina has a great serve, and that's going to cause Allison problems. I like Alina to win the first match of these two ever will have. And listen, guys, give me Alina Rebikina to win the first set, and she will advance to the round of eight. Up next is a matchup I'm really interested in. We have Emma Raducanu, the Emma Raducanu, reigning and defending U.S. Open champion of 2021. She came from the qualifiers. She came out of nowhere. No one even heard of her. She's taking on the giant killer, Jessica Pagula, who is guaranteed to reach the quarterfinals of any WTA 1000 event. Listen guys, Jessica Pagula is seasoned. She's experienced. However, Emma Raducanu has beat Victoria Azarenka. She won the first 10 games, made her look amateurish. She beat Serena Williams, the greatest athlete of all time, the greatest tennis player, male or female of all times. She made Serena look like she should go back into retirement right now. Listen guys, this is a matchup where Emma Raducanu is playing very good tennis. She's got a great backhand. However, Jessica Pagula loves to bring you mid-range, hit passing shots. Jessica Pagula is a much more consistent server. She's a more experienced player. She's got a better IQ. I like Jessica Pagula to send Emma Raducanu home, and that's a lot. Up next is two ladies that should be supermodels. These ladies should be on a cover of Sports Illustrated. Maybe one day they'll make it. And maybe they won't. Veronica Kunamatova owns the head to head 2-1. But you guys saw last week, Isla Tomjanovic, she defeated Veronica Kunamatova. And Veronica had a abhorrent day. Nothing was hitting for Veronica. She was very frustrated. And if she wants to beat Isla this time, she's going to have to keep her cool. Listen, guys. Isla Tomjanovic demolished Paula Bedosa, the Spaniard, last night. That was a late game. This is a quick turnaround. Isla is playing a lot better than in recent she's making less mistakes she's serving better she's reduced the double faults her backhand is very strong she's worked on her forehand she is blooming to where she was before the injury and veronica kunamatova from russia Veronica's one of the best servers on tour. She's one of the strongest servers on tour. She's a good baseliner. She's very athletic. She's very fit. She plays left-handed. She can use her right and bully you with a right-handed forehand as well. I like Veronica Kunamatova to get back on track and send Isla Tomjanovic home. And up next, we have the last matchup of this preview and prediction video, Sabalenka versus Shelby Rogers. Shelby Rogers is playing amazing tennis. She has the crowd behind her. Her backhand looks really good with her new coach. She looks like a completely different player. However, we got one of the hardest hitters in the game, Sabalenka. She's emotional. She throws temper tantrums. She throws fits, and she is very very upset if things aren't going her way however today's things are going to go her way and she's going to take out shelby rogers i like sabalenka's power to hit shelby rogers right off the court that's a lock this is good energy guys remember queen serena is the best we are